my dudes, it's Cody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry this is late, but it's here, finally, my September Wheel of TBR video, and I'm having a celebration, clearly, because it's actually been a year since I first posted my first ever Wheel of TBR video back last September, so... This made no sound. There we go. since I started the Wheel of TBR. I posted my first one on the 31st of August. I was a lot more timely back then. And it was Wheel Chooses My TBR, September TBR, something like that. And oh boy, it's been a journey. But as it has been a year since I started this whole thing, I am gonna make some changes. I just thought I'd wanna change things up a bit. Nothing too drastic, but the first thing I do wanna let you guys know is I'll no longer be spinning this 12 times. It's been a struggle, honestly, to read 12 books a month before I started my Wheel of TBR. It somehow seemed to be easier. I was averaging like 15 books a month. And then since I kind of started this challenge, I haven't been reading as much. Some months I've done really well and then others, such as July, sorry, June even, I really just completely failed and wasn't able to do all 12. So I'm going to be reducing the spins somewhat. I'm going with eight. I think eight's a good number. I'll still be keeping the challenge aspect to this and unhauling the books that I don't read from that eight, but this way I have some wiggle room, I can just pick things up sporadically through the month, maybe even do some secret TBRs or something like that. I've been wanting to do something like that for a while, obviously inspired by the Queen books and Lala, but it hasn't been realistic with the 12 that I set myself every month. So that's the first thing that's going to change from now on. And secondly, you'll notice I don't have any prompts on here currently. I usually start with my 12 what I call original prompts. I'll put them on the screen right here. Because those are the prompts that I felt like gave me the largest scope of options to choose from when that prompt comes up. However, I just wanted to change things up a little bit. So I've put all the original in the stack of all the prompts that I have now. There's a lot. <laughs> So a huge thank you as well to everybody who's given me prompt suggestions since I started my Wheel of TBR video. Y'all make this a lot more exciting for me to film and hopefully for other people to watch, so thank you. But I do have quite a large stack, so from now on, I think I'm just gonna pick them out at random to start with the first 12 every month, or if you have any specific prompts that are your favorites that come up, maybe Pet Pick, for example, let me know in the comments and then I could change it up every month and then the ones that you vote could be the ones that start on the wheels, have the higher chances of coming up, even though I do switch out the prompt every spin. I hope this is making sense. If this is the first like Wheel of TBR video you're watching from me, I do have a playlist. I'll link it in the description and that might mean um, you'll be less confused watching this one. So maybe watch those first. But before I pick these out at random to go on the wheel, I need to let you know how I did last month. So these are 11 that I picked out last month and then also A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin, which I am listening to the audiobook of, but I did not finish. I did finish 10 of these though, but I am currently reading Far From Landing Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I'm not that far into it, but I would still like to read this one in September, so I'm going to be saving this one. So I almost did it, but not quite. Still got a lot of Feast for Crows to read, and I've still got like over half of Far From Madeline Crow to read, but I'll be doing that in September. Also, I am currently reading Dark Dawn by J. Kristoff, the third book in the Nevernight Chronicles, because of course I am. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. That's what I'm currently reading, so that's why I won't pick it for any of the prompts, in case you're wondering, like, why aren't you reading Dark Dawn? Like everybody, <laughs> you know? In terms of readathons, the only one I am hoping to participate in this month because I've participated in, I think, the last two or three rounds is the Contemporary Thon. It's happening from the 23rd to the 29th of this month, so right at the back end of this month. It's hosted by, of course, four of my favourites Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads, Natasha from My Reading is Odd, Julie from Pages and Pens, and Melanie from Mel to the Any, of course, some of my favourites. I love this readathon. I try and participate participate when I can because I'm a huge fan fantasy lover and I sometimes just don't pick up contemporaries even though I do enjoy them. So this is a good kind of motivator for me to just put the fantasy aside. So I will try when picking the books with the wheel as always, I'll do my best to pick some contemporaries or thrillers to fit in with that readathon. So now I can pick out the prompts. So I will give them a shuffle. So as I mentioned, I do have the 12 OG ones in here as well as all the other ones that have been, well, come up in the past. 
So for the first one, I'll go for this yellow up here. We have, oh, that was really anticlimactic because it's one of the originals, is TBR Vet. And the next one that's gonna go on the orange part is going to be Reread. And the prompt that's going in the brown, that sounds weird, we've got Pole. <laughs> okay, and then for the red section, we'll go, oh, Pet Pick. And the next one we will go for is Twitter Pick. That's one of the originals again. Um, similar to poll, I just put a poll up on Twitter instead. And then we'll go for Blurbed, which is one I don't think that's come up before, but it's just I pick a book that has been blurbed by one of my favorite authors. So probably quite a few options for this one. And the next color we'll go for, well, the next prompt even, will be, oh, boyfriend pick. So Massey will pick the book. And for the light blue color, we have, travel so that's just to pick a book that's not set in the uk or the us okay and the next one is wild card and then the next one we're gonna go for is oh new release this is taking a while i'm sorry um bad book and then the last one we'll go for this one oh Graveyard. So that's to read a book that I have had to unhaul in a previous Wheel of TBR video. Okay, so that's all the prompts we're going to start with have been picked out now. I think we've got a good bunch of different stuff. Some will give me a larger scope of books to choose from, whereas some are just really specific, such as like boyfriend pick. Massey's just going to pick one if it comes up. So let's get on with this and do the first spin. So straight from the off we have Twitter pics. So if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, my at is at Cody Book Corner. There's no apostrophe S, it's just Cody Book Corner. If you follow me on there, I will post a poll as soon as I post this video. So I need to pick, I think, four books. Okay, so as always for Twitter pick, I've picked some that I feel like are really popular on booktube, so hopefully it will make for a good poll. I've picked two that are contemporary or thriller. That could hopefully work for the contemporary thon and then two that are more fantasy based the first one i've picked is spinning silver by naomi novik naomi novik wrote uprooted which i did like but i didn't love i am hoping to love this one more this is a fantasy fairy tale retelling i want to say of rumpelstiltskin super excited to read this one i've heard amazing things about it so maybe this one will win also this one was very kindly gifted to me for my birthday by the lovely rachel at rachel marie book journey of course I will link her channel for you all to check out if you haven't already so that's option one and the other fantasy I've chosen is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho this is the fairy loot edition that I received so it has those beautiful sprayed edges I'm very excited about this one it is a fantasy as I said but I feel like this is more urban fantasy it's set in Seoul and it's based in Korean mythology we follow a girl who can turn into a nine-tailed fox that feasts on the souls of men I also believe there is a romance in here but also the plot is really good I have heard good things about this one, so that's my second option for y'all. And then moving into the ones that could work for contemporary thon. Firstly, I have Autobiography by Christina Lauren. This was very kindly sent to me by my bae Hayley at Hayley Marie. I will link her channel in the description if you haven't already discovered her. Please do go check her out. And I have heard such good things about this one. It's on my wish list for quite a while. I know it's one of Booktube's favourites. It does feature a male-male romance and also talks a lot about religion, as I believe one of them grew up Mormon. So very excited to try this one. And as I said, could work for contemporary fun. And then lastly, I have a thriller, which is The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I still haven't read any roof wear but this is the one apart from her newest release that seems to get the most love and a couple of months ago when I posted my TBR shelf tour this one was really popular a lot of people voted for me to use this as a viewer pick so this one's going in that poll too so as I said follow me on Twitter if you'd like to vote I'll have the poll running for a week and then whichever one wins after that time, I will add to the TBR for this month. Okay, and before the next spin, as always, I'm gonna switch out the prompt. So I will change up Twitter pick for one word title, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so Graveyard has come up. There's one book that I unhauled one month and a lot of people told me like, no, that book is so good. You shouldn't have unhauled that. You should have tried to save it and still read it. So I kept it. I made the prompt in case it came up and then I could read the book. So let me find it. Ah, okay, that wasn't actually that difficult. I haven't actually unhauled that many during my Wheel of TBR, if you will. But I did unhaul Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood. Well, I said I was going to unhaul it, you know, and then I made the graveyard prompt and then this ended up happening and now I'm reading it this month. <laughs> to be fair though, when I said I was going to unhaul it, some people's passion for this book really came out and now I am excited to read this one. So, I can't remember exactly what it's about, I just remember that it's about a tumultuous kind of frenemy relationship between two women who grew up together and then eventually find themselves in the same town or something like that. It says, Elaine Risley, a painter, returns to Toronto to find herself overwhelmed by her past. Memories of childhood, unbearable betrayals and cruelties surface relentlessly, forcing her to confront the spectre of Cordelia, once her best friend and tormentor who has haunted her for 40 years. So, intriguing. It's Margaret Atwood. I haven't read a lot of Margaret Atwood, honestly, so it's about time I tried something else. So, yay, finally, Graveyard came up. I'm finally reading Cat's Eye. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this one if you've read it. And switching out the Graveyard prompt, we will switch it to... Mood read. So during the month, I'll just pick something at random that I'm in the mood for. I don't need to solidify exactly what it's going to be now if this one comes up. Wild card, bitches. Okay, so I'm going to do it. This has been on my TBR for so long. And when I did my TBR shelf tour, a bunch of people did say, I should read this. So, I don't know anything about it as Wildcard suggested. Literally nothing about this book. All I know that it's by Mark Z. Danielowski and I read House of Leaves. I didn't love it, but I really liked the weirdness, I guess. So I'm expecting this to be just as weird. And it's the familiar One Rainy Day in May. I do have the second volume, but I know there's quite a lot of these out. It's ongoing. And yeah, I don't know anything about it. I just know the formatting is really cool. <laughs> we have some pages you have to read in landscape. There's some with just the one word on there. Some written in this funky way. And also lots of images. So mixed media and things in here. For example, so <laughs> I do not know what to expect with this, but I'm very excited to give it a try. So I'll be reading this. It's actually quite heavy as well, but I don't think it'll take me that long, hopefully. Let me know if you've read this book, please. Like, because I've not heard anybody else on booktube talk about this that I'm aware of. So let me know your thoughts. Okay, and switching out wildcard, let's switch that one to colour. This one has come up before, you'll know what it is. If it comes up, I re-spin it and the colour it lands on, ignoring the prompt, will have to be on the front cover or the spine of the book I pick. Okay, so we have Pet Pit. Usually I've already like pre-filmed a Pet Pit clip in case it comes up. This time I haven't, which is probably better actually because then I know what books I have left, etc. So I will just insert the clip now that I'm yet to do. So here's what the cats picked. So I tried to be stealthy with putting these books out so the cats wouldn't know what was happening, but that didn't end up working. But anyway, first round. These are the three books I've picked for the first round with Bellatrix. So I have a couple that could maybe work for the Contemporary-thon and then I have a fantasy that I'm really excited for. So the first option is The Dry by Jane Harper, which is a thriller I've heard a lot of good things about. I believe it's set in Australia. On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which I cannot believe I haven't read yet. I did start it and then put it down because it wasn't on the official TBR that month. So I really need to get to this one. I know this one will work for a few of the prompts for the Contemporary-thon as well. And lastly, I have City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is is a fantasy again I've heard just great things about so I'm excited for this one. I bought this one for my birthday so 
Now I'm going to put treats on the books. If you've seen these before, you know how we do these things. And then I'm gonna try and get Bellatrix through first before the monster that is Tiberius takes over. Okay, first cat. <laughs> it's okay, Bella. So apparently I scared her away, but she did pick The Dry by Jane Harper. So that's the first choice and he is helping himself to the rest because of course he is. Okay, and the choices for this guy. Firstly, I have Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. This is very popular in my TBR shelf tour, also could possibly work for the Contemporary-thon. My second choice is My Brother's Husband by Gengo Tagami. This is volume two of a manga series, again could work for the Contemporary-thon, and this was gifted to me by Magbay Haley. so that's the second choice. And just to throw another fantasy in there, I have The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. I'm excited for this. This one was sent to me by the lovely Gemma. I will link her channel. So those are the three options for this cat. I'm going to <laughs> try and get him out of the room, put the treats on here and see which one he goes for. And then I'll pick between whatever he chooses and this one. Okay, that was quick. Which one's he going for? Oh, everything I never told you. Why do they always go for that one first? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I have to choose between these two. I think I'm gonna go for The Dry by Jane Harper, even though this one is a bit smaller. I've just heard great things about this one. Um, this one does come highly recommended, but I don't know if, if I'm in the mood for it. Also, I didn't love one of her books that I've already read, which was Little Fires Everywhere, so a little bit trepidatious about this one. So I'll be reading The Dry in September, this month. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then switching out pet pick, we will go for Gifted. So just a book that has been gifted to me by my lovely booktube friends. I got a lot of books for my birthday and I still need to get to a lot of them. So I hope this one comes up. have dark blue again which is colour so I will spin this again ignoring the prompts as I mentioned we'll just go by whatever colour happens to land on has to be on the front cover or the spine of the book okay so orange I don't feel like I have a lot of books with orange on the cover I mostly just have like black and blue um, so I'll just grab some options. Okay, so I do have uh, My Brother's Husband by Gengo Tagami Volume 2. It does have orange on the back. Very kindly sent to me by the lovely Hayley at Hayley Marie. Um, this is a manga series. This is second volume. Contemporary, so could work for Contemporary Thon. I also have Plum Crazy, which I purchased myself, which is another manga, which has some orange on there. It's just about a cat, which sounds adorable. Also though, I have been meaning to read this for ages. This is I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McMara. This is a true crime. I also have The Dry by Jane Harper, a thriller, which obviously could work for the contemporary thon. I know a lot of people love this. And then a chunky one, I have The Fireman by Joe Hill. And I really like Joe Hill. So, oh, too many options. I'm not sure. <laughs> so to help you choose, I am going to look back at all the most popular options from my TBR tour that I did a couple of months ago and actually I'll Be Gone in the Dark had nine positive mentions and the next one on the list will be The Dry which had seven so it's finally happening I'm going to read I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle, my, bye, sorry, Michelle McNamara. I'm too excited. I just talk really quickly when I'm excited. I'm sorry. So this one is about one woman's obsessive search for the... Nice. One woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer. Um, I believe Michelle McNamara was a journalist and she actually died before she was able to finish this book. So it was finished by somebody else, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but it's blurbed by like Stephen King. So yes, I really want to listen to the audiobook of this. I actually have some Audible credits, so I probably could find this on Audible. A lot of people have told me not to listen to it alone though, but I love horror films, horror movies. Let's see if I get freaked out by this. I'll be vlogging the experience, but yes, okay. I'll be gone in the dark. I'm finally reading it, yes. 
Okay, so now I need to switch out the prompt for colour. So give me the shuffle again. We will go for, oh, treat your shelf. Not that I needed an excuse to buy more books, you know, but yeah, if this one comes up, I will get a new book basically and I'll read it this very month. There are a good, well, there are a couple of new releases I'm excited about this month that I was possibly gonna get anyway, depending on reviews, so yay. <laughs> I know which one I'm gonna go for. It's right up here and it is House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I've been dying to try this. This has been so hyped up, especially by Heather at Aphrodite Reads. I'll link her channel if you haven't already discovered her, but she's been hyping this up so much. Everybody who's been reading it recently seems to have enjoyed it, I think. There's been a couple of mixed reviews, but it feels like it's gonna be my kind of thing. Also, I just received this in the Alcray. I also actually bought myself a copy before I received uh, my Alcray box. So I have two of these, but I'm actually sending my paperback, sorry, to my friend Gav, another amazing booktuber, link in description if you haven't already checked him out. <laughs> One of my faves, I think he's gonna love this book too. Basically, this is a YA fantasy story set around 12 sisters who I believe are cursed. They live in a manor by the sea and there's these like nightly balls, something weird is happening and she needs to figure out what's going on with the sisters basically. That's all I really need to know. <laughs> Oh no, actually, I think I got that wrong. I think there were 12 sisters, but they are dying one by one. And she believes they're cursed, so she needs to go and try and save them, figure out what the hell is going on. Her name is Annalee. That's who I'm talking about. I did a terrible job at trying to describe this book. I apologize, but I'm hyped for this. So yes, House of Salt and Sorrows is happening this month. I am excited about this one. Again, let me know your thoughts on this. Okay, and switching out new release. I think A House of Salt and Sorrows is one of my newest releases I have on these shelves. I think so anyway. But let's switch that out. We will switch it for, oh God, I'm the worst shuffler, I swear. Uh, let's go for, oh, Out of Comfort Zone. So there's been six spins, two more to go. Okay, it's close, but it is boyfriend pick. So when Massey gets home, I will have him pick a book, any book, I will document that. And I guess I'll just put that in right here. Put the no, camera up. No, I'll just stand properly. Do you, do you want me to zoom out? Just stop oh. squatting, <laughs> just stand. The hair's the best bit about me. The hair's the best bit, all right, hold up. Let me just zoom you out. We're putting this in the video, by the way. <laughs> You all right now? Your hair's in? You good? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it's kind of in. <laughs> Why do you like this? Okay. What do I do with my arms? <laughs> you look beautiful, okay? That's not what I'm questioning. Hey, so it's a bit later now and boyfriend pick came up. This is the boyfriend, this is Massey. You've Hi. probably seen him in some of my vlogs if you watch my vlogs. And you're gonna pick a book for me. So I've removed the prompts on here so I don't spoil for like future spins because I'm inserting this clip in somewhere. But yeah, you just choose a book. Hmm. That's essentially all you need to do. Do you have any strategies? Are you going on the way they look? The size maybe? Or are you um, going on books that you know, like, I'm excited about? Because I do talk to you about books, I don't know how much you retain. Not much. <laughs> I have absolutely no theory and no method. No method to the madness. No. Well, I'm going to perch down here. No, that's too big. No, no, there's no limitations. Pick what you want, whatever calls to you, I guess. Oh, that no. contender? No? Okay. I'm surprised you've not read Chuck Palahniuk. There's a few of his I haven't read yet on the shelves. That's a contender. That's a contender. This and this one. Nope. Crazy I've just realised which one that was. It was a random choice. Oh, okay. Oh, this is harder than I thought. 
Why? Why are you struggling? There's so many choices that mean nothing <laughs> to me. Do you want me to, I don't know, maybe tell you what some of them are about if you think they look good? Yes. This one, because I want to read it. And I thought the second one was disappointing. You didn't like the second one? I liked the second no, one. No, I loved the first one. Enjoyed the second one until the last hundred pages. And because of that, never read this one. So you want me to read that one? And if it's crap, you can tell me and I won't bother. Alright, oh, okay, fair enough. This one it is. Okay, well say thank you to Bobby. Bobby got us that one. <laughs> thank you, Bobby. <laughs> she got it for both of us. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Massey chose Only Human for me to read, which is the third book in the famous styles. The first one is Sleeping Giants, the second one is Waking Cods. Um, as he said, he didn't really like the second one, but I really liked the second one. I liked how it ended. This is a sci-fi. I feel like a lot of you will know what this one's about, but it's basically, I'll tell you what it starts off with, because I don't want to spoil it too much, but you begin with a young girl who falls down a ditch in the woods and lands on a huge metal hand. And the story just unfolds from there. It's told in a really interesting way. I really like it. It is a confusing series, but it's one of the better sci-fi series I've read thus far. So I'm hoping to love this last one as well. So for boyfriend pick, Only Human by Sylvain Novelle. Wow. And thanks again to Bobby at Bobby Reads Too Much for sending this one my way. I will of course link her channel in the description if you haven't already discovered her. So Only Human. Thanks, Mass. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous to see what he picks, but anyway, we'll switch out boyfriend pick now. Um, will this be the last spin? I think this is the last spin. It is, so I'll be switching out the prompt for the last time. So boyfriend pick will be getting replaced with, oh, Cody pick. I like that. <laughs> okay, so for Paul, I've picked four. Two of them are quite large. Two of them are a little bit more forgiving. That have been sent to me by my lovely friends here on BookTube because you know I like to try and prioritize the books that are gifted to me. So first off we have Into the Drowning Deep by Myra Grant, AKA Shauna Maguire, who wrote the Wayward Children series and Middle Game. Didn't love the Wayward Children series that I read. I read the first couple, but I did love Middle Game. So very excited to try this one. So thank you so much, Hayley. So I believe this one's quite fantastical. It features, killer sea creatures I believe from mythology and it's about a film crew that went missing when they were trying to create a mockumentary about these sea creatures of legend so I've heard great things about this one so that's option one. Option two is Eye of the World by Robert Jordan which is the first book in the Wheel of Time series. I really really want to read this series but it is quite intimidating with it being a larger book, but now that I don't have as many to read every month, perhaps I can actually finally get a start on this. We also have another large series, Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. This is the first in a sci-fi series. I believe there's, I wanna say eight or 10 books out currently. I think there's eight. Um, this is the beginning. It has been adapted to a TV show on Netflix, which I haven't seen, but my boyfriend loves. This was very kindly sent to me by the lovely Bobby at Bobby Reads Too Much, and she's been wanting me to try this one. I am excited because it is a space opera. I haven't really read any of those, but yeah, I think I'll like this one. Also, I forgot to mention <laughs> this one was very kindly sent to me by Becca at Becca and the Books, and the last option was actually also sent from her and this is The Furies by Katie Lowe and um, Becca describes this one as the craft but British and that just sounds really good to me. I believe it starts off with a murder of a girl and this just recounts what happened but there's a clique of powerful popular girls that also dabble in witchcraft I believe so this could be a fun kind of thriller as well to read this month. I know Becca liked it so I'm probably gonna like it too. So these are the four options for the poll. If you'd like to vote, the poll should be on this side of the screen, I believe. If you've missed it, just click the screen again, or tap it and the eye icon should come up and it'll be a drop down menu and you can choose between these four, one of these to add to this month's TBR. Very excited for all of these, but I'd be excited to see what you guys suggest. I read and what will win basically. So those were all eight spins my dues so I'll just go over exactly what I've picked. So these four are definitely being solidified as being on the TBR this month and one of these depending on the poll on Twitter so if you have an opinion on these 
do let me know on Twitter and vote in that poll if you'd like to. And then whichever book I end up picking for pet pick, y'all know already, but I'll put it here on the screen. Same goes for boyfriend pick, whatever Massey ends up choosing. Again, I'll put an image here. And then lastly, one of these, depending on whatever wins the poll on this video, which again will be up there somewhere. <laughs> But that was this month's Wheel of TBR, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you care to do so. As always, please leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on these books if you've read them. Let me know your thoughts on the new way of doing things. Don't forget to vote in the poll if you'd like to and also the poll on Twitter. It's at Cody Book Corner. You'll find it there. I hope you're having a great day and I'll catch you in the next one, my dudes. Bye, y'all.